Welcome to another episode of Learning to Fly. If you've not seen part one of the GST, click in the top right now to see why I had to take this test in two parts. Not exactly how I would have wanted this to go. Well, on to part two then. And please remember, this video is edited considerably and many checks have been removed for brevity. If you want to find out more about Learning to Fly, just hit up KembleFlyingClub.com. And finally, before we get started, honestly, thank you so much for watching and commenting and liking. Please subscribe as well so I can continue to make these videos if, of course, I pass. Talking of which, let's get into it. Okay, so wind is very light. Uh, campus is in line with the runway and we've got very light winds and it's a short field. So we're going to say way before a halfway point, probably a second concrete marker on the right hand side I've got that yep and uh, yeah I uh, think we're good Just do this uh, yeah a broad point compass wind good okay all happy yep okay all yours camera traffic golf limit Sierra is taking off runway 26 grass So up here, max, acceleration normal, airspeed active. Two hundred feet, flaps away. See if you can find some sort of field that you think you might be able to. Um, yep. Okay, I'll, I'll do it into. Okay, I've, I've picked a field, but, um, which should help us with the 500 foot rule actually as well. Yeah. And uh, given the wind, which does seem slightly that way, just do a quick blind call. Camel traffic, Golf Lima Sierra is leaving the ATZ to the southwest. Okay. So let's just check below us. Yep. Happy to descend. Yeah, so it's this one, and I'll be landing this way, so in line with the crops, well, not the crops, but the short looking stubble, the surface looks good, so trim, let's just re-trim there, and I'm going to turn downwind, and I think that's about time to let, actually I've stayed on the QFE, so I am about a thousand feet. Maybe a bit less now, so... So what are we at, so... Okay. Yeah, happy with the surface. There might be a bit of a slope from right to left, actually. Let's have a look. There is a house annoying you right over where I'd see that grassier one looks slightly less slopey. I like the big one because it gives an overshoot and undershoot. Right, so staying at this altitude, which I think is 500 feet. What's that airspeed? Yeah. Okay, so I'm going to treat this as my first fly pass. Fly by. Whatever we want to call that. I think. I'm aiming at. I'm looking at 650. I think the ground's slightly higher here. Just want a slight climb because it's higher at this end of the field. Not annoying anyone. Yeah, I'm happy with the surface. Size definitely big enough. Surround till I've got a field beyond it and before it. Okay. I'll come around again. Stay at that. Quick check under the wing. Yeah, speed under control. 
Yeah, I don't think it's sloping as much as I first thought, actually. So if this was a real precautionary landing, what would you? What's your course of action now? So now I'm going to uh, dip down to. Well, I, I should be lower now, and I'd be doing a lower pass, checking the surface closer, and then I'd go by one more time, and then I'd be on looking to make this final. So why can't we do the 250 pass now? Uh, because of I well either the 500 foot rule of that house is what yeah. is my question mark. Show me where you would position okay. to commence the, the run at 250 feet. Say I was going to I'll come left of the house. So these precautionary landings are, are are often difficult because you know 500 foot rules very important 500 foot from any person vessel vehicle or structure. So uh, Ben did do a, a pass about 500 feet above ground level or a little bit a little bit higher than that. He didn't climb back up to circuit height, which we would normally do. Um, some bike lights fly circuits at 500 feet, but normally we'd climb back up to 1,000 feet to give himself other options downwind. And then, of course, when he wanted to descend to 250 feet, um, couldn't because, because there was a house in the way that we needed to keep 500 foot from. What I wanted to see was a bit of be bit better judgment on the on on the on, on height. Not entirely happy with this, we do actually go on to fly a 250 foot pass at a different field, so that I I can actually see that that Ben can judge 250 feet. So difficult finding somewhere to do this without them breaking the 500 foot rule. So on this field, we know we can. Yeah, sure. So I just want you to go down and, and fly level at 250 feet. Okay. Along the over the above the fields on the right hand side of the yep. of the one we use for those precautionary landings. Yeah. Okay. Just need to get this height down. There we've got our field, looks a bit undulated. We've got a nice wind sock in the form of a bonfire, so it'd be a slight crosswind. Okay, so what we're going to do now is to climb away to the right, gentle climbing turn. Yep. Because we've got the villages here, yep. so come away to the right, gentle climbing turn. Now straight now, and level out, okay, right, now then I want you to make a power approach yep. to the grass strip 08, okay, so, so I'm going to get nice and low, in fact you could make it a performance approach actually, so, so short field, short so field. You, okay. we, we, we've got enough time to sort it out, yep, okay, so let's get some flaps in, first stage, Second stage. Retrim. So it needs to be 65 approach speed. Ben's just mentioned target speed is 65. I mean, that, that's a bit fast, really, for a short field approach in these calm conditions. But in actual fact, he he he, he goes on to uh, get the speed just right and lands just on the stall. Really nice. Just in case they didn't hear us. Taking 08. 
Okay, so I want you to head towards Sirens, Esther. Yep. And climb up to about 700 feet. Okay, so we're going to pretend now that Cloud has forced us down to fly low level. Yep. And you're going to turn now towards Aston Down Airfield. Okay. Okay, so we're the pretend, pretend scenario is yep. you're trying to get back to Aston Down Airfield okay. to land. And yep. you've been forced to fly low level. Okay. Okay, so let's keep that altitude, trim up a little bit, not too much. Down is on the nose. I made a little mistake here in that I didn't. I should have flown further north, and I wanted Ben to be flying at Sirencester Park in order that I could see that because he was low level, he'd change his heading and divert around the woods. And in fact, I set him up on a path that was over pretty good fields everywhere. Loads of bonfires telling me about the wind. Down now. So what we're going to do if the yep. um, engine, if conks, the engine out. conks out? Yeah. So let's have the engine conk out then. Okay. There's wires across here. So trim, good. Wind it is from that direction. Secure? I was a good check. Okay. Try and restart and a mayday, mayday, mayday. I'm gonna come into the flaps because I'm into this field here. Okay, let's do a go-around procedure. That was very good, well done. Thank you. Small flat off. Only 200 feet. That's away. Will you trip? Okay, so 600 feet, let's level out. So this time we're going to pretend that we've been forced low level. Yep. The weather now really is crap ahead. Yep. I want you to do a 180 degree turn. Okay. Good look. Of course everybody can see um, just how Ben is looking out because he's got a head camera on. Sometimes his lookout is not quite as good as it should be. Mostly it's very good. Quick check. All good. Kick around another... Okay, I think that's about... Yeah, it should be... East. I'd like you to try and work out how to 
best join back to Kemble into the circuit from here. Okay. I'm going to join, I'm going to climb up to a thousand feet, so we are clear. We're entering HZ. Yeah, the, the cloud has magically lifted oh, now. Oh, sorry. No, the cloud oh, has oh, lifted oh, right. <laughs> Okay. I'm just going to do a blind call. Goplin the Sierra is entering the ATZ from the north. So I'm going to do a crosswind joint. Looking up traffic. Slow us up to 80. Okay, good. So we cross with the two six. Yep. Uh, that's fine. Okay, there's a loud bang, the engine's on fire. What are you gonna do now? Okay, so it's first it's thing flames coming out of around the front there. Yeah, so fuel off, uh, throttle open. And Correct. Then once the engine has stopped, mag uh, magnetos off, ignition off. Okay, there's a loud bang, a capacitor's blown or something, there's smoke in the cabin, what are you going to do now? Okay, so all electrical things off, which is basically the radio, but open up the window, ventilation. Yeah. We'll turn down wind now. Yep. And, um, engine plane off to take off, we've done. So if you'd like to, well, we are, actually we're a bit tight, aren't we? I do apologise. That's all right. right. Shut the power off then, yep. and try a glide approach. Okay. Down to the grass for me, please. Sure. So I'm going to go a bit further because we are tight. Uh, check and final. All looks good there. First stage of flat. Ever side slip. Full flat. Harder than I'd have liked. That's all right. Very good. Okay. We can taxi back to that hangar. <laughs> good. Comms is going to disappear. I'll leave it on for a second. Then oh, we okay. Leave it, leave it on and just switch off this time. Tonight. Okay. There we go. So I can say congratulations. <laughs> <to you. laughs> yeah. Well Fantastic. done. Very nice flying. That's good. We've got a few points to pick up, but we can go through that on the debrief properly inside, yeah? Thank you very much. Good. It's Good been man. a bloody pleasure. Fantastic. Well, this is where the learning starts <laughs> from what I've heard. <laughs> no, that's great. Really, really good. Really good day. Well done. Brilliant. Brilliant. Thank okay. you very much. <laughs> so there we go. I now have my national private pilot's license. Please subscribe as my next video, I'll be taking my first passenger and do remember the learning never stops so I'll be retaining the channel name and thank you so much for watching. Once again, comment, let me know your thoughts and we'll catch you next time.